Hey folks, what is the best type of protein to eat? I'm gonna share with you some tips today that are gonna not only give you the types of protein that are gonna help build muscle, but strengthen your immune system. Proteins are composed of amino acids, which are the building blocks of your cells. Amino acids are key to building and rebuilding your muscle tissue. Animal proteins are key to fat loss as they increase satiety, which is the feeling of being full, due to the amount of saturated fat in the protein source. Don't worry folks, I'll explain in another video the differences between good fats and bad fats. Animal protein versus plant protein. Very, very critical. I am a huge proponent of eating animal proteins if they are from an ethically sourced, they are not conventionally raised in cages, if they're grass fed, if they're pasture raised. So I'm gonna get into that. So here are the benefits in my opinion of animal protein over plant protein. You get the complete amino acid profile in animal protein. It's more anabolic. So for those of you looking to get a little bit stronger, get a little bit bigger, it's, it's a lot more anabolic than compared to plant-based protein. It can be higher in saturated fat, and we'll get, about, we'll get into that a little bit. Um, and it's great for muscle gain. So for those of you that are looking to, if you're working out, and you're looking to gain a little bit more muscle, lose a little bit of fat. In my opinion, animal protein is the much better bang for your buck. In terms of types of animal protein, I'm gonna highly recommend free range chicken, turkey, eggs, pasteurized eggs, sorry, not pasteurized, but pasture raised eggs, grass fed and grass finished beef, buffalo, venison, ostrich. You don't want cows that are being fed grains. You want cows that are able to live majority of their life, if not all of their life, on grass. You want wild caught fish, such as Alaskan salmon, sockeye, coho, pink, all types of different uh, salmons, Pacific halibut, trout, Arctic char, those are all great wild caught fishes, and high quality whey protein. I'm a huge proponent of whey protein. I have one shake a day myself. Now here are some of the disadvantages of eating certain animal proteins. The differences between, between your alkaline type of animal proteins and your acidic types of proteins. Unfortunately, if you do eat a ton of animal protein, especially chicken and beef, which are slightly acidic, you're gonna put your body into an acidic state, especially if you're eating mostly and only protein. And when you are in an acidic state, it invites disease in. When your body's more alkaline pH, it allows your body to heal and optimize at a level that you're probably not experiencing because most people that I come across, unfortunately, a lot of the foods and drinks they're putting in their mouths are quite acidic or they're neutral, which doesn't help. You wanna be eating more foods that have more alkaline pH. So, whey protein is more alkaline pH. Most wild caught fish, alkaline pH. Eggs, alkaline pH, especially if you cook them poached or boiled. Turkey and buffalo, alkaline pH. Chicken and beef, slightly acidic. So if you're eating more, of, if you're having more whey protein shakes, if you're eating more wild caught fish, if you're eating more eggs, more turkey, more buffalo, um, then the, you know, say if you do have chicken once a day or beef once a day, then you'll be fine because the majority of your animal protein is enhancing that alkaline pH in your body and you're gonna be much healthier in the long run. Now, the key with protein, you don't need it in abundance. Like you don't need a full plate of chicken or a full plate of eggs. What you typically need in terms of a serving size, and obviously it depends on your activity level, depends on your metabolism, it depends on your health and fitness goals, but rule of thumb between 25 and 35 grams per meal. Now, an average six ounce steak that fits in your palm, that's about 30 grams. Um, the average chicken breast that fits in your palm, not your whole hand, but just your palm, it's approximately 30 grams. So that's an idea of what you would, would have, you know, for your meals or for your snacks in terms of a serving size. You don't need a ton of it because protein carries a great bang for your buck. Now, in terms of the amount that's recommended, 
And again, the range varies. It could be 0.5 grams per pound body weight, way up to 1.5 per pound body weight. So what that means is, say if you are a 130 pound female and you go with 1.0 grams per pound body weight, you're looking at 130 grams of protein a day. And that is not that difficult to, to do if you're eating three or four times a day. For a 200 pound male, eating at 1.0 grams of pound per pound body weight, you're looking at 200 grams of protein. Now, obviously you're gonna have to pack in probably about 35 to 40 grams per meal, and then eat that five times a day. There you go. Very simple to do, but you just have to be disciplined. You have to have meal prep. You have to have planning. You have to be strategic. You can't just be, oh, well, I'll eat, I'll eat whatever because that does not gonna, that's not gonna allow you to reach your goals if you have specific goals to get stronger or leaner or lose some fat. So I hope that helps, folks. I am Coach Glenn. I help busy parents make better nutrition choices to lose weight, create a better quality of life so they can meet their grandkids. If you enjoyed this information and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. And also, if you're a little bit lost, you need some help, you need some guidance, click on the link below to book a 30-minute call for me. We will go through the areas of health that I feel are important, such as nutrition, sleep, exercise, stress management, and lifestyle habits. And then we will figure out a plan for you to get you moving towards your health goals this year. So if that interests you, click on the link below. I would be happy to talk with all of you to help you move further towards your goals so we can all live a healthier life. Have a great rest of your week, folks. We'll talk to you again soon. Coach Glenn out.